a fetal care center is just the extension of the care that we administer new to newborns to the unborn. But it really is just moving the goalpost from when the baby is born to as early in development as 15 or 16 weeks. Esther is very special for a number of reasons. Esther was the first open fetal surgery that we performed here at Connecticut Children's. On May 25th, we were celebrating our first daughter's one year birthday. And that's also the day we found out that our boy has spina bifida. I remember that, that moment that it that we first found out, um, it, it, it was a very, like the whole room just went really quiet, us and the doctor. That was a very heavy moment for us. There are hospitals in the US that do fetal surgeries while the baby is still in the womb, which we've never heard about that before. And we got excited about that because there's a hope maybe that we can do some something to help him in the future. But with Rebecca at 23 weeks, I had to get an emergency surclage. Because of that, none of the fetal care programs in the US would take our case. We actually went to a prayer group and we prayed. And the next day I get a phone call from my OB and she said that Dr. Crumbleholm is accepting us. When you love your child, sometimes you're willing to do crazy things like pack up and drive 3,000 miles in order to get them a chance at being able to have a better life. Dr. Crumbleholm is a uh, national hero in this field. He's a pioneer. There are only a handful of places that have a comprehensive program. Three to seven, he started, and now we're number four. Fetal care centers become the front door of the children's hospital. And these little tiny babies that are diagnosed with a problem prenatally end up being part of the children's family for often the rest of their lives. So Thaddeus had an operation and so did his mom. When they do fetal surgery, they open you up and they take the baby out and that's how they do the repair. And then they would put the baby back and stitch everything up and hope he stays cooking. Thaddeus was born at 32 weeks and two days. He was three pounds and four ounces. I'm looking at this tiny human being. I've never seen a human baby that small. And all I could get out was, hey buddy, I'm your dad. And I probably said it four or five times before I realized I was just repeating myself, but I couldn't say nothing else. All of these very talented specialists who come together for a tiny little fetus the miracle is when you see this patient when they're born. At six days, at six months, at six years, uh, some of the, Dr. Crumbleholm's uh, earlier patients are now sassy teenagers. To see them and their quality of life, the fact that they've survived uh, a, a disease or an anomaly that 20 years ago they wouldn't have survived is absolutely miraculous. Making a gift to the fetal care center is like an investment in the future because many of these babies in years past never survived. There's now a whole generation of children who are growing up and developing and will be the future of this nation. To be able to have a place where we could be together, where we can function as a family, I think not only would that be incredible personally, but I think that also does a lot to speed up recovery times. It does so much for the family and the individuals involved. And if we can do that here in Connecticut and have a, actually that place, I think that's just, that's amazing. 
to be able to support this and to be able to give, you know, ordinary parents like us an extraordinary chance to, to do something that we've never been able to do before for our kids.